Hi guys, uh, Mikel again here at Power Moves Fitness um, with Danielle on this video for goblet squat setup, position and execution. So this is the first lower body movement in these video trailers and we're going to start with a uh, goblet squat first because it is one of the easier movements to do before you progress onto barbells, uh, back squats and front squats and stuff like that. So what we're going to do first, and uh, there is a dumbbell here, but we're going to leave that to the side for a moment. First we're going to start up, start on the foot position. What we find with most people when they start to execute a squat is they're too narrow. So if you go into a narrow squat, this is way too narrow. There's no allowance for your hip to move. And if Daniel was to try a squat now, it, yes, it should be limited on depth. Obviously Daniel can squat very well, so she can do that. But yeah, go down again. So a lot of people would get stuck here and it wouldn't really look that great. Yeah, so come to the top again. So what you wanna do for most people, is we want to go to a wider stance so feet just outside shoulder width is normally a good place to start yeah if you're struggling to find your width start too wide see how it feels and then work your way inwards yeah but you don't really want to be inside your shoulder width or inside your hip width on a squat as you can see Daniel's toes are pointed outwards allowing the knee to track out in a quad and allowing the glutes to duct out as well so anytime that you're doing a squat movement and if any of this buckles inwards it's kind of compromised, can lead to injury, but your limbs and your hip, it doesn't really like it, yeah? One thing to bear in mind is the hip joint is a ball and socket, yeah, so it moves around. So if you've got a small hip, also you're gonna have a little bit of a smaller stance. If you've got quite a big hip bone, you're gonna to want to use a big wide stance, yeah? So Daniel's gonna start this squat position with the feet set up like this. What you wanna do when you start a squat is you wanna push the hips back first. You wanna load the hips, so Daniel, if you can just push your hip back slowly, that's fine. And then when you start this position, it loads the hamstrings, loads the glutes, gets you in a position where you're shifting your weight backwards and over your heel. So if you can continue to descend down, hips back, and then as she comes down, she opens the thighs, sits into a low squat, keeping the thighs open, and you can come to the top. Right, so what you don't wanna do is you don't want to bend the knee first because that loads up the knee you end up everything comes falling forwards and you don't use the, the stronger muscles which are the hips glutes lats yeah so daniel if you can start a squat very slowly just bend the knee first and then try to go into a squat and it doesn't look as good only problem here is daniel is very good at squats so you can almost put her in any position come back to the top and she'll squat so but what we want to do focus on hinging at the hip first, push the hips back, open the thigh. As you travel down, opening the thighs, pushing out, shifting your weight over the middle of the foot and the heel. Stay nice and tall as you can, and then drive up as you push through the ground, push the knees out. So that's your squat. So now Daniel's gonna load it up with a goblet squat. So with the dumbbell loaded on the front, we're gonna engage the core a little bit more. We do wanna still stay tight. So retracting the shoulder blades, depressing them down, staying nice and tall in thoracic extension, bracing the core, as we've spoke about before, and then she's gonna keep the dumbbell close, shifting the hips back to initiate the squat, bending the knee, opening the thigh, getting a good pause, and then driving out. Awesome, you can go for another rep, nice and slow, hips back, thighs open, knees open, weight distribution through the middle of the foot and heel, driving up, nice and tall. Perfect. Okay guys, that's your goblet squat.